Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back. We are doing a Throne of Eldraine draft. And if you guys want to support the channel, other than slamming those like and subscribe buttons on YouTube, which I definitely recommend you do, if you haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button. Hit that like button. You know you're going to do it. We're going to have a good time. Uh, you can check out patreon.com slash franklapore. And for as little as $1 or $2 a month, uh, you can support me. You can help me out. You can go to patreon.com and you can make a difference in a, in a streamer's life, in a content creator's life. Don't tickle the button. Don't just give it a little wink. Slam that thing. Slam it as hard as you can. Don't break anything, but give it a good, 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 tough, good, tough slam. 109 trophies. I would say this is like a team of people working around the clock, but like, you can't, you can only log in on one account. So it's not like it's like multiple people on the same account, just like, and also like, you'd have to have a bunch of people that are capable of winning 109 trophies. So, oh yeah, nailed it. That's a good one. That's a real good one. I don't like anything in this pack particularly more. Uh, the thing on my shirt, it just says Jawbreaker. And it's a it's a parody. It's an homage of the of the uh, Joy Division shirt of the of and on, on underneath it says Unfun Pleasures. All right, now we're down to two fabled passages, guys. Two fabled passages. We're getting there. Um, well, sky's the limit here. Faber Elder is nice. When we're this early. It's probably better. I'm going to be honest, it's probably better than Trapped in the Tower. Considering, uh... Trapped in the Tower has let me down. Oh, and then we get past an Okame Ranger? Okay, well. Also, Bacon to a Pie, but I think Okame Ranger is pretty strong. So, we pick a, a, a green-white rare, and then we get past a, uh... The, one of the, arguably, the one of the best hybrid cards in the format so I noticed a pretty dominant theme with your t-shirt selections. Always black. Is that a personal style or does it just look better on... Um, all my shirts are black. I have not given it much thought as to whether they look better on stream or not, but they are all black, so... Her Heraldic Banner was actually a card that gave me some amount of trouble. It's not actually terrible, like... If you just name white with this, all of your 1-1 one, one flyers become like 2-1 flyers, and this has actually put up a lot of pressure. I'm going to take the banner and see if we can... Uh, oh, maybe we just take Lucky Clover. How... I kind of like Lucky Clover here, because if we get like more unicorns and stuff... Rosestone Acolyte and Curious Pair. Okay, okay. Okay. Hmm. Need a little more, a little more strawberry watermelon in there. I don't think we actually need the roast or acolyte because we do have both of these right now. So I do like Resolute Rider. Mono white could be good. I don't know if it's good enough though. But both of these produce white. It might just be good enough. I think it's probably better than just a random curious pair, to be to be fair. Yeah, and then you get a pack like this where you're like, eh, Appetite or Cauldron. Let's take Cauldron. Let me see your Cauldrones. Uh, Prize Griffin's good.
I have not been watching the Watchmen episodes. Are they good? I probably should. I just ate a burrito. I'm proud of you, buddy. Oh, yeah. Let's get that lonesome unicorn. Lonesome unicorn. It's from the... You guys know the Red Hot Chili Peppers song? Josh, I feel like you just described me, buddy. He's got potential. But right now, he's just weird. Skittles in Commander? Oh, I was like, what does that mean? And then I was like, oh, Skitherix. That's that's what you guys call Skitherix. I think Wolf's Quarry gets better when you have things like OK Ranger. Potentially this if you name green. This is a lot of good blue cards really late. Does it matter? I don't know. That mystery booster was kind of mad. I feel like they, they may have built it up too much. Make them taste the rainbow. Yikes. Yikes. Alright, let's hope for some good pack two and three, because I don't know if I love our pack one offering. This isn't even a playable card. Oh, murderous rider. It's a murder and a rider. You belong in a museum. So do you. It's two tickets, but like, is there anything better? Trapped on the tower, maybe? Actually, with Lucky Clover, I'm real tempted to take this. Yeah, all right. Yeah, okay, you got me. Deathless Knight? What if we're just like Abzan? What if we're just hard Abzan? Trapped in a Tower, also pretty good. Yeah, we're just taking the Trapped, actually. I do like a wolf. I do like a fierce wolf stalker. Which stalker? This stalker. I mean, the Faber Elder helps. Heraldic Banner, we can just name black if we have to. Oh. Also, uh, if we do get Rose Thorn Acolytes, like, it's pretty decent. Well, this pack is pretty junk. Transformation. Silver Flame Squire could be decent. I guess Squire is actually okay if we have Lucky Charm. God, how many kind of transformations are we going to see? I mean, I'll just take it. I think it's fine. This pack is not super exciting. I don't really want to take another four drop, so... Tactician? Yes. Fairy Guide Mother? Yes. Flutterfox? Yes. I just haven't really gotten to the straps. I'm really waiting for the lace here. Yeah, dude, I totally understand. I totally understand. Garenbrig Carver is fine. I don't think we want another Kenris transformation. Eh, 
festive funeral's fine if we are black, I guess. Who put the mystery packs together? Was it CFB or was it Wizards? Ooh, Feasting Troll King. Now we're definitely green. Yeah, Crutch Jr., I definitely agree uh, about the community. I think it's one of my favorite parts of streaming. Epic Downfall, very good, very good. Um, I think it's just got to be Epic Downfall here. None of these other cards are super impressive. We could have two Thunderous Snappers. Oh, Flaxen Intruder, okay. Garenbrig Paladin, also pretty good. Castle Ardenvale, also pretty good. Jeez. This pack is actually great. I like the Flax Entry with the Lucky Clover the most. I want to take the card that combos with our other cards better. Uh, Flutter Fox is great with Heraldic Banner. Like, you can play Banner on turn three and automatically Flutter Fox, and like, then it's just three twos. Or alternatively, we can take Paladin, which is pretty big. But also, like, only at its best when we have Adamant. I'm going to take the Fox again. This pack is... Interesting. I guess it's just Merrily Frider. We could actually take Ardenvale Paladin, which is just a fine blocker. I'm actually a big Once in Future fan. I think that card's great, especially if you're getting like two powerful cards back. Murderous Rider with Lucky Clover makes it real kind of hard to cut. If we can get like one or two Rose Thorn Acolytes, I feel we're good about it. Savvy Hunter. All right, that makes it pretty easy to keep the black in my humble estimation. Another prize, another bird? All right. I mean, I wish, I wish we picked up a Rose Thorn Acolyte earlier, but so be it. Twenty six cards, huh? How many adventures? Uh, one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven. So actually, a decent amount. Actually, I actually think this deck looks pretty sweet.
Maybe we should play 41. I'm totally fine with playing 41, I think. Uh, let's say 3, 6, 6, 12, 13, 15, 16. We get one more after this. I need four of the... Jiposhi, what? Tell me what. Oh. Uh, I almost want seven green just because of Feasting Troll King. Wow. So this is actually seven, eight, three. Yeah, I think this is actually fine. I have no idea how this deck is going to perform. I feel like I draft a lot of cool decks in this format, but I never I never know if they're going to do very well. Um, yeah, okay. Come on, one time, white source. Oh, got the double black, though. Dang. Also, Lucky Clover into Murderous Rider seems pretty good. Also, Lucky Clover and a Lonesome Unicorn seems pretty good. I will block. That guy seems a little too good. Unfortunate. Any fourth land would let us play Griffin. Or Scarecrow, rather. And then next turn we can play pretty much anything. Here's a video of a slow loris being cute. Oh, dear. Oh, biscuits. Okay. Oh, we actually should have done this in response. Then this guy dies. Oh, man, that was a mess up. Now they still get the 1-1. One, one. Oh, that would have been a blowout if we actually were able to do that. I wasn't even considering it. Yep, I will take 1. Well, that guy's fine. Mm -mm, that seems good. Hmm. Might as well get in there. Yeah. That's what I thought. Just play Savvy Hunter. Well, that's rude. Eh, 
and that's impossible to cast. Any other white source here would be just great because then we can go Silver Flame Squire and Flutter Fox. Interesting. Seems good. Hmm. I feel like we're just behind because of the size of these guys. Yeah, I was wondering what you were trying to say there. Hmm. I mean, unless they top decked a trick here. <sighs> Must be nice. Cool. <laughs> you get one draw step. This is actually pretty sweet. We can go Banner on turn three and Resolute Rider on four. Oh, Juposhi, congrats, buddy. I hope you I hope you get in. I hope your writing doesn't suck. Ha ha ha! Got him! I didn't actually get him because I said I hope it doesn't suck, so that's weird. Got it. Well, geez. So we have three colors to make this and three colors to make this potentially. I'm tempted to just name green here. If we get to land the Troll King, it's pretty good. Look at these manner. So, like, does it make you feel better to hurting your insulting your best friends? Make you feel like a big tough guy? What did I did I insult you? I'm so sorry, buddy. I'm so sorry. We can't do anything if we don't. Ugh, this is frustrating. If we hit another green, we can play this guy. If we don't hit another green, we can't do anything. No, don't like this. Fuck. We're just holding out. We're holding out for that green or any other spell, really, to, to really take the... Yeah, this is pretty brutal. Well, they didn't play a creature pre-combat, which is interesting. Makes me think they don't have a creature. Post combating a creature with your vote. Thank you. All right. Well, that's that's a choice, I guess. Enemies, thank you so much for the reset, buddy. Really appreciate it. I feel like we are so fucking dead here.
Look at this hand, dude. Come on. One more turn and we get to cast this. I mean, like, we could just throw this out there and chump block here. We'll take six. Let's hope we don't die, I guess. And then the three two bears should help a lot, maybe. Fuck. I think we're dead. Which is fine. We took a risk with this deck, and that's okay. Sure. Does it really give this guy f that doesn't do anything, I guess. Give this guy flying? Sure. <sighs> like you do. Yeah, there's no way we can beat this now. Just happen to have it all every single time, right? Seems good. Go to two. Bear, bear, bear. Yep, yeah, that's game. All right, cool. That was a fun match. I think our deck is still fine if you take out the consideration for the two really, really mana-intensive cards that we have in our deck. I'll keep this hand. Oof. Interesting. I'm tempted to play this because if we draw a white source, we get to just go Lonesome Unicorn into two two twos, which is pretty strong. It's kind of like a white source. Poops McSucka Butt? I don't think you had a friend that was named that, buddy. Planes. Let's play this guy. We'll play this dude. This is my medium. Yeah, you can't even use proper punctuation. How are you going to get an F MFA program, buddy? Unbelievable. Um, I'm just going to block this dude. Oh, they got to outflank. Oh, man. What a trick. What a, what a combat maneuver. Land would be nice. God, I love lands. I think I did get programmer moved on. Do I just double block this guy? That sucks. That seems terrible. What's our alternative? And they actually can kill one with the cauldron. Yeah, that seems bad. I am not on board for that, my dudes.
guys, I think our deck is bad. I think the greed was too much. So they can just go scalding one of these dudes. This is actually really obnoxious. I guess if they want to go plus it twice, that seems so bad though, right? Like they'll just do that. And I think it's totally fine. Maybe. If we double block here, they can go shoot one this guy survives, and they can pump this guy, but they can't kill it. But we still lose two knights, and I just don't think that's worth it. So I'll just put this guy here. If you want to double, if you want to waste your turn pumping this guy, that's totally fine. Wow, that is aggressive. did look what we did we can actually once in the future to get that failed passage and get something else back that's actually pretty cool They have one card, we have four cards. I feel like if we can just deal with these... I kind of want to play this and deal with this guy before we... Mm -hmm. uh, we could not also pick Downfall because we played a land this turn. I mean, if we're going to play Hunter, I'd rather just play this 3-3. This three, three. Seems just, just seems better. I'd rather waste the 5 mana 3 3 with no cool ability than the Savvy Hunter, which has an awesome ability and it's cheaper, so. Luke's theme stuck in my head? What is. Oh. Right, I also wouldn't mind getting the Lonesome Unicorn in the Graveyard to get back with Once in Future next turn. I mean, they could also kill it, but yeah, that's pretty much fine. Like, if they want to use this for their turn, like, I'm okay with that. Well, that's pretty good. But this does turn off these two as attackers. And if this guy's just coming, it still gets to eat two guys, like, which is frustrating because this was a good. We do get to epic downfall this guy. Any land would be great. Thank you. Luke's theme. Oh, sup, Alan? Thank you so much for the reset, buddy. Really appreciate it. Water Sports Drew, welcome back, Thank my you. dude. 29 months really appreciate you are you excited about the new star wars i'm excited about all star wars and all marvel movies my fandom makes me really makes it really difficult for me to dislike these things i'm actually really i'm actually more excited about the mandalorian next week which seems phenomenal especially with pedro pascal as the mandalorian Peace out.
Give me a Millis. Oh, wow. I'm definitely getting that back. Definitely getting that back with Once in Future now. This seems pretty good. Please leave me alone. Uh, okay, so we're just going to block here. Probably just jump block here. Sure. Okay, I believe you. Cast with adamant support. I don't even know if we want the land at this point. We might just want to go three. Like, Lonesome and Okane put a lot of pressure on the board. And if we can draw just a natural land, I think it's actually pretty good. Because any planes are... Okay, that's nice. that's fine. Like this makes four one ones. This makes two two twos. We can actually play Savvy Hunter and Lonesome Unicorn here. I think that's pretty good. We could also just play Fox and Ranger too. That's also decent. Fox is able to block here. This makes four one ones. Savvy Hunter being able to just block here though seems pretty good, especially with the food. Oh, we can't get Ranger down. Like we can we can get we can make the tokens. I'm not gonna play. This is just two damage, but like Yeah, I think I'd rather have the two tokens and the Savvy Hunter. Savvy Hunter being able to put, start making food is pretty nice. And if we hit any other land, we can go uh, Lonesome Unicorn and Flutter Fox. Yeah, this is fine. If that's your only attack, that's actually pretty good for us. Yep, that was pretty nice. We can also go Ranger and Flutter Fox, which is pretty strong. This guy's kind of annoying though, right? Yeah, I feel like this is pretty good. I don't really want to trade Savvy Hunter for Jousting Dummy here, so I'm not going to do that.
Oh, uh, I do. Kretz Jr. I still have the stipulation. Let's try not to let the opponent have any lands as many ways as possible. Take the opponent's mana away. Unfortunately, this is the legacy cube coming up, though, so I'm not going to. I don't know if it's as possible. Uh, Dazing Swoop. One, two. Get dizzy. Crutch Jr.? What does that even mean? I guess it doesn't mean anything. Uh, yeah, alright. That worked out pretty decently. I might just want the Spore Caps better because they have double uh, Flutter Fox and they have a bunch of X1s. Hmm. This deck is something else. Oh, I'll take out the Squire, I guess. Like, Fox into Banner is good. Oh, that's good, too. I agree, Quad Green's pretty hard. I agree. When I play on MTG, I come across people to recognize anyone from this. That's actually hilarious, dude. That's hilarious. I kind of just want to get Spider down. Like, we get, if we play this for white, we can play this next turn. If we play it for any color, we can play it for this next turn. But I don't know if we want a second green or, a, or even a single black source at this point. So I'm just going to play this guy. It's not super exciting, but it's honest work. Oh, look. All right, so now we get another green. So I'm almost tempted to say green again here. Because it lets our spider be a 2 1, 2 5, rather. I don't know why I said 2 1. I have no idea if we just want to play the banner here. I mean, I I'm tempted to even name black just as fixing here, but the thing is, we don't have to actually play it yet. Sure. Oh, dang. Oh, I love that they're doing this now. Yes. Excellent. That's a twofer. And we just hit a black naturally. I'm okay with that. One, two, three, banner. Yeah, we can actually play banner and Garenbrig Carver next turn. 
Foulmire Knight draw a card. Okay, so we have a lot of green mana. I kind of turned in black with this. It doesn't actually pump our team at all, but a second black, it lets us cast Resolute Rider if we draw it. It lets us cast Murderous Rider if we draw it. Uh, Wintermore has a counter because they played Idyllic Grange. So one, two, three. Play Banner Name Black. We can then also play Garenbrig Carver. Oh, because we have planes. Yeah, I guess we don't need it. Might just play might just name green, because we have Carver and And this also lets us cast. Sure. I mean, the problem is the only thing we need green for is Big Fat Idiot. However, being a 4-2, it's not bad. Being a 2-5 is not bad. It also does pump our green guys. I will gladly trade here. No? Okay. Wow. Interesting. <laughs> wow. They true loves kiss our banner. And then we draw Feasting Troll King after that. That's hilarious. Comical. Just three, three, huh? I will take three. Never not punished. Forest? That seems good. I will gladly trade this guy for this guy, knowing we have Feasting Troll King waiting in the wings. I'm playing some Eldrazi Tron. Thanks in part of this awesome service I heard about called Mana Traders. You know anything about it? Yes, Mana Traders is a great subscription service. Wow, they true loves kissed one food token so that we can't bring back our Feasting Troll King. That's hilarious. It's an amazing subscription service that you can use to rent physical paper cards or Magic the Gathering online cards. And you can check them out at manatraders.com and you can use the link and promo code in my description below to get 20% off your first three months of any subscription. 20% off the first three months of any subscription. Definitely use that link and promo code below. Definitely use it. Use it. Click on it. Click on the thing. Good times. What did they get back? Furry Young, targeting Falmire Knight and Flutterfox, sure. So they block here, they take one, they go to four. I think we just alpha here, right? Like, oh god, they went to four? Oh geez. I mean, the trample here is really gonna... Why did this get a counter? Oh, because of Mysterious Path later, sure. So 
So three three on seven six. So you take four. That doesn't work. So you got to put like three three and two two in front of this guy. Two two in front of here. You take one. Three four five. Six two three, and then this guy in front of this guy maybe. I don't know. We'll see. Something good. Yeah, that's pretty brutal. Yep, yeah, that's gonna be that's gonna be game, I believe. Three, four, five, six, seven, you put it all in front of here, you die. Um if you block block block, yeah, we're just gonna alpha here. Even if you put two guys in front of this and one in front of here, you take one, two, three, four. Yep, one, two, and then three, four, trample. Sometimes that's how you do it. Their deck did not seem bad. In fact, you might say it seemed good. I think I'm going to make some meatball subs this weekend. <laughs> well, you guys, uh, you and Superfoot will probably have a pretty good, uh, pretty good time. You might want to leave it up to the experts. Toast in that pepper jack is an art form. Oh man, corn chowder is delicious. Don't even joke. What did we lose to? Um, it's like a green-white deck that had it all. They had it all. And they had it now. I'm going to keep this hand. The problem with the banner is that I want the black for the fixing, but I want the white for the the pumps. I guess, I guess we could just name white here. Corn chowder is OP. Oh, nice. Uh, I don't think we're just going to run out of Fairy Guide Mother here. Kadeen, what's going on?
Well, that was a good draw. This guy. You gonna counter this? Oh, no, you're just gonna draw, draw some cards. Hmm. All right, now we're talking. Now we're talking. I feel like I just want Tactician here, but I think it's better to play Banner on white so that next turn we can play Resolute Rider. I guess we could actually name now we're naming white. It's just better for our. If they want to counter this, it's fine. It's not exciting. Sure, you got it. Thank you. Alpha Wolf, thanks so much for the resub, buddy. Welcome back. Really appreciate you. Really appreciate you. Oh, that's a good draw. Good biscuits. Good gravy. Ugh, it's obnoxious. Nothing, huh? Well, I'm sure you're not going to counter the next thing I play. That would just be silly. I mean, any number of spells kill this guy. Scorching Dragon, Fire, Searing Barrage. So, okay. So tiny. And I have six cards. It's kind of, it's kind of a bit much. It's, it's pretty good. Pretty, 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 pretty good. Okay, well, we're having a good time.
peel from reality. Oops, there goes gravity. Oops, gravity. Just take a five. All right. I'm okay with it. That's so tiny. Yeah, that's pretty good. All right, they have two cards. Spider can come in. Four, one, two. Interesting, just main phase loot. Okay. Uh, Zimini Pot, yeah, I've actually done a couple Pioneer stuff. Um, if you had something in mind, definitely send it over if you're interested. Pioneer has been sweet so far, and I've been enjoying it as a format. Oh, look, they have Fabled Passage as well. That's pretty good. I guess you can stay home. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, three, huh? Uh, I'm gonna say okay. Let's get back Squire and probably Ryder. Actually, it's definitely Squire. And now the other question is, is it Rider or Savvy Hunter? I think it's actually Hunter here. Yeah, Ziminipot, I would love to. That sounds great. One, two, three, four. Done. Oh, come on. Are you fucking kidding me? Jesus. Come on, dude. Oh, that's frustrating. Wow. Yep. And we lose the squire. Wow, that's frustrating. Yeah, one, 
one, two, three, Hunter. Yeah. All right, well. What can you do? Sometimes you have red cap melee. Yeah, I also have someone else in the queue who said literally uh, Eldritch Evolution, bonus points for Voice of Resurgence. So I have to put together a pioneer list with Eldritch, Eldritch Evolution and uh, figure oh, come on. And figure it out from there. Well, that's frustrating. Yep. Oh, man. That's great. That's cool. Actually, not bad. My kingdom for a second black mana. Oh my god, Quacker 2000. Oh my god, it's Cosme himself. What's going on, my dude? So tiny, Red Cat Melee and Didn't Say Please have all been extremely frustrating to play against. I, uh, yeah, I just don't even. For each color, my permits you control, so white and green. White and green. Totally fine. Totally fine. Yep, make two fairies.
How many cards are in the deck? Nine. Not nearly enough. <laughs> sure. Fucking sure. Stolen by the Fae, Castle Embereth, Double Improbable Alliance, or Revenge of the Ravens. Yep, that's a totally reasonable deck. It's totally reasonable. Seems good when you got a bunch of tokens out. Seems very, very good. Take six, go to four. And then we're dead on the on the crack back. Yep, sounds good. Well, I do wish I had a way to deal with enchantments because boy, they got some good ones. Trapped in the tower actually doesn't seem great against them. We didn't see any, really, any ground creatures, I don't think. Welcome to the end of a set of hot ones with hot draws and even hotter wings. Oh, shit, yeah, that's great. That's some solid nonsense right there. Mulligan. Oh god. I'm keeping this just because I don't want to go to five here and um we have a bunch of helpful things. I'm gonna ship the downfall. Come on, land in the land. Two lands. Let's go. Come on. Not like this. Okay, we did it. Now any land we get to play Fabro Elder. Yep, that ain't a land. Cool. So now they're just gonna counter whatever we play. That's that's good. Yep. Our current record is 1-1. One, one. Yep. Never didn't have it. Also, it was the fourth counter spell we've seen from them. A uh, brand new one.
fascinating. Just fascinating. This guy would have been great because then we could actually add two mana and then if any land would have uh, resulted in a Feasting Troll King. Oh yeah, that guy's good. Yep, nope, not paying for that hot trash. Sick weasel. I just don't think our deck has anything we need to uh, to beat this this other deck. So I, I just like, I mean, the deck's very good. The deck is really good. Like I'd probably even consider it bounce spore cap spider, make three one ones, and then just attack for two, but. Like, you just don't have any reason to. Golden years. Sick Weasel was my nickname in high school. Nice. Solid. I see no point in attacking with this guy. Literally what I suggested. Get the three one ones. Attack for two. Come on, land. Okie dokie. Well, they just block and pump now. Which isn't the best use of Garen Brig Carver, but okay. Right now, this way we just nug for six just to get this guy out of our hand. Oh. Interesting. I mean, what are the odds they have red cat melee? 100%? Thank you! 400%? Hi, gamer. Thank you so much for the resub, buddy. Welcome back. Or the regular sub. Not even a resub. Thank you so much, dude. Really appreciate it. Red cap melee sacrifice an island. Red cap melee, I'm gonna sacrifice this land. Oh, look, they had it. Cause they never don't. They never don't have the card they need to have. Do -do -do -do. Goodbye, two for one. I guess it's two for two because they had to get rid of an island, huh? And that's, that's the, isn't that the important part?
Golden years. What is this guy? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. This is good. Oh, good. Yeah, we're done. I <laughs> just don't even give a shit anymore. Thank you guys for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Slam those dislike and subscribe buttons if you, uh, if, yeah, I, fuck, I don't know. That was a painful draft. Unfortunately, the, the siren's call of Feasting Troll King and all these four mana guys and Lucky Clover, it was all too much. And, uh, our discipline is not strong enough. Thank you guys for watching, though. Uh, check out patreon.com slash franklapore. Check out twitch.tv slash franklapore. Go over there. Subscribe, follow, like, do all the things. I'll see you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching. Really appreciate it.